We experienced mild conditions today with high temperatures approaching the 30 degree mark across most of southeast Minnesota and northeast Iowa. We'll have up and down temperatures uh, really through the next 7 to 10 days because we'll experience some upper 30s, maybe even the 40s by Sunday and Monday. And then we'll have falling temperatures next week. Highs by Christmas for next Friday, potentially staying in the lower teens. We could be talking about maybe 13, 14 degrees for high temperatures on Christmas, and we still have several snow chances on the way. Nothing like what the Northeast is experiencing, but uh, maybe some light snow, some dusting possible as we move towards your weekend. As we look outside, currently we're dealing with uh, some partly cloudy skies. We're right at 24 degrees currently in Rochester. Uh, winds right around 7 miles per hour, dropping our feel-like temperatures down to 16 degrees currently in the Med City. As we check in on future track radar, we'll continue to increase that cloud cover tonight, so we'll deal with mostly cloudy skies with the southerly wind. That's why temperatures will stay pretty steady in the mid to lower 20s for overnight lows tonight. The little burst of energy that we'll be tracking here through the next 24 hours, just the north of Bismarck. Notice some very light snowfall there. It's kind of right along a frontal boundary that will move through Friday night into Saturday, and that could have enough instability out in front of it to potentially produce some light snowfall. So future track tonight, we increase that cloud cover. Winds stay out of the south. Watch temperatures as we move towards tomorrow morning. Actually might warm a couple degrees towards early Friday morning. Cloudy skies on the way for tomorrow. Watch as we move through the afternoon. Temperatures warming with the strong southerly winds. Winds will gust to around 20 to 25 miles per hour. Temperatures warming into the upper 30s tomorrow. Notice the chance for some light drizzle just to the west of I-35. And then we'll deal with maybe a little bit of a wintry mix. Not really looking at accumulating snowfall for tomorrow. So if you want to see that potential for the white Christmas, not tomorrow's situation whatsoever as uh, that cold front then moves through, changes our winds uh, to a north northwesterly breeze, temperatures dropping down into the lower 20s and by early Saturday morning. So as we recap for Friday and then potentially into next week for some snow, we'll deal with a chance for a little bit of a wintry mix, minor accumulations, maybe a dusting in some isolated areas for tomorrow night into Saturday. Next week, uh, conditions were trending in the right direction yesterday. Kind of take a step back today then. Still looking at the potential for some light snow Tuesday and the Wednesday. Minor amounts are expected coming up next week. So even with that chance, we're still looking at maybe a 15 to 20 percent chance at seeing at least one inch of snowfall before Christmas, really eight days out. So it looks like a pretty good chance at looking at a brown and green Christmas. Now, although we might not have some snowfall, we will be changing our temperatures into next week. Watch what happens as we move Wednesday, Thursday, and then eventually into Friday. Notice all the purples and pinks. That's indicating surface temperatures of about 10 to 15 degrees, and that's by Friday afternoon. So we could have overnight lows Christmas, uh, Christmas Eve dropping into the lower single digits and then high temperatures temperatures on Christmas only expected potentially in the mid teens as we look for the rest of the night tonight. We stay pretty steady in the mid to lower 20s tomorrow 36 for the high well above average about 10 degrees above average tomorrow with a chance for some light snow 30 for the high on Saturday. We'll see some sunshine back to the upper 30s lower 40 Sunday and Monday and then next week temperatures dropping down 25 by Wednesday only 14 for the high on Christmas Eve. Now it's time to take a look at what's